it's it wasn't even a wild thought, wild fantasy uh, in January. Um, after my last show in 2021, um, actually had a couple of health issues. I had a um, um, shortly after that show, I had a biopsy done uh, for possible lymphoma, and luckily it was negative. Uh, but the worst thing was they told me I couldn't work out at all for six weeks, nothing. So going from two and a half hour workouts to putting about 200 steps a day for six weeks was driving me uh, absolutely crazy. Everyone's sure crazy. Uh, once I recovered from that, I had a, um, a mysterious, mysterious um, decrease in heart function. And uh, for some reason, my, I couldn't work out. I basically, for the most part, I didn't work out all of 2022. Um, came into January. I had not hopped on the scale, um, but I did sneak a couple times. I saw I was up just kind of where I was when I came in January. I was about over 19% body fat, and I checked the scale. Well, uh, my official weight when I started uh, to finally lose some weight was I was about 205. Um, I stuck on the scale a couple times during the year, I may have saw like 210 and 215. Um, and what's your height? 5'9". Okay. It's, not, it's not somebody, uh, it's not going to be that heavy uh, at that height for someone who had past heart conditions too. That's another part of my story. But um, came into uh, January, just decided to do a challenge uh, with my coach, uh, Sherry Ilizam, uh, with my wife. Um, and ended up dropping five uh, percent body fat in about uh, four months, come April, and uh, was making great progress on my workouts. Um, I did have a, a um, recovery from the heart function. They changed the medications around, um, and but basically I had to start from ground zero. Um, I was a fraction of a hair from needing a um, a pacemaker put in. That's how how close I was. Um, last year. Come uh, 2021, 2023, uh, dropped 5% body fat and just started seeing uh, some of the IPL pictures and some of the Instagram photos and some of the Facebook photos. Um, starting to get the bug, but I was like still going, This, uh, my, it's not going to happen. Um, finally made a commitment about 12 weeks out to do it and basically I've been nonstop gung ho the whole way. Uh, worked my uh, tail off t um, at the gym to get back in shape again. No selfies, no selfie sticks. Uh, if you do that, that's fine. But you know, it was all it was all focus um, during that time to to get where I'm today. And it's like I said, it's an absolute miracle that I'm even here. Like I was telling Ben earlier, it was probably in January. There was a better chance of seeing snow here than seeing me. But uh, that's kind of um, really great. I'm really, really grateful to be here. We're grateful to have you. Yeah. Congratulations. It's a beautiful story. Yeah. What What were some of the, I guess, biggest challenges, especially considering some of the health situations and what you were dealing with? What were some of the biggest challenges throughout this prep? Uh, the biggest challenge ultimately was, well, was actually just starting over my workouts. Um, I didn't work out. I probably worked out maybe four four or five months total into 2022. So I basically had to start from ground zero of my workouts. Um, and so even like the beginning of 2022, or 2023, I was still um, building up my endurance, building up my strength and trying to make progress. Um, once I got in the groove, um, was able to, um, with the you know, diet and, and my workouts to, to get down to a place where I could show up today and and be proud to show off my hard work. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. So does that does, does sort of dealing with all these challenges take away from I guess the intensity of this amazing Pro Masters athletic lineup? I mean, on one on one end, I mean, you're grateful to be here, right? We're yeah. Grateful to have you. On the other end, like it's game it's game time. Yeah. It's go time. So like, how do you? balance the two? Is it more just your focus is on just being here or how much are you focused on doing damage on that pro stage? Well, I'm really looking forward to doing, uh, showing off the hard work I did. Um, and a few months, a few months ago, I would have said it, it was just about showing up 
but uh, I really want to you know, do the best I can. Uh, there's some great competitors. Uh, I'm also pretty inspired with John also. Um, I saw him over, over the last couple of years also. Um, and looking forward to competing against him and meeting Rob for the first time. And if the, we get somebody else that sneaks in from up above, uh, also, uh, great to have him aboard on that. Both you and your wife are competing tomorrow, and if you guys compete together in a past, what's it like to train together for a common goal? Actually, it makes it, um, it, makes it much easier. I actually can't picture doing this without her. Uh, I know she's done a couple of challenges um, where I wasn't participating, and it was really difficult um, trying to plan meals and plan things. Um, when you're trying to, well, what are we gonna do for dinner on, on Saturday night? Well, she's on prep and I'm not. That's uh, it's a, it's a whole different story, but we're both on prep. We can both be, um, put our meals together. We can plot, um, plan accordingly. And uh, I'm really grateful to be able to do this with my wife because um, she inspires me to do this. And, uh, and it just makes it so much easier to do it both together. Uh, we did have, actually we didn't do it this year, but we did have a neat little tradition uh, the Sunday before peak week. We uh, basically apologized for the upcoming week because uh, we knew it, it could be kind of uh, hairy. So uh, luckily we didn't need to do that but uh, this time, but uh, we did that almost every other show beforehand. Finally, any, again, you already kind of mentioned some yeah. folks, but in your camp, and we hope to get you here today, but... Any final kind of thank yous or shout outs to the people that helped you get here today this weekend? Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank, well, once again, I'd like to thank my wife uh, for, for doing this with me. Uh, I couldn't picture doing it without it. It makes it so much easier to be doing it with her, uh, shooting for a common goal. Um, thank you to my daughter uh, who came out from California, who will be at the show tomorrow. And I want to special shout out to uh, some of our. Uh, Friends at uh, Flex Gym in Woodland Hills, who uh, through some teasing and some inspiration uh, allowed me to work hard. Um, a special shout out to Chris Waddy, who helped me out with some of my posing and uh, some general motivation and just uh, inspiration. And uh, last, uh, a special thanks to uh, our co my coach, uh, Sherry Illizam, who uh, was able to get this, uh, get this party started. Uh, if it wasn't her in, in the beginning, uh, there's no way I would have even thought about doing this. Uh, probably forgot somebody, but uh, if anybody forgot, uh, shout out to you who's inspired me along the way. It's uh, it's just too many to to be thankful for, or to to thank and be thankful for. I'm really, really honestly grateful to be here, and looking forward to showing off uh, uh, what I've done this last uh, eight months.